Okay, family, everybody been hitting me up in box asking me about CERN and what's going to happen on July 5th. Now, what's funny is somebody hit me up and said, uh, uh, Nikki, do you know what's going to happen on July 5th? And I'm like, uh, what are you talking about? Um, the end, Cape Verdean Africa, uh, Independence Day when we won our independence? She said, no. She said, CERN. So people are panicking right now, okay? Um, people are panicking. They think that when they open up this portal, okay, because CERN has the most powerful particle accelerator in this world, okay? And it's also located in the European, um, where is it at? In Switzerland, in the European uh, physics, what do they call it? The European Particle Physics Laboratory, okay? So it's in Switzerland. They're saying that, you know, when they actually relaunch, because they launched it one time, and the story goes that they actually let disagreeable spirits come inside of the earth when they opened up the portal when they first did it the first time. Now, this time, they're saying it's supposed to upgrade uh, humanity. Some people are saying it's going to wipe out humanity. So, people are just afraid. And I think people hitting me up because they want me to read what I see spiritually. Okay? Um... I want to say this before I go on. There's a World Efa Festival that takes place. It took place last month. And there was an Odoo that came out. And was it, what was it? What was the Odoo? ID, um, well, I think it was um, Ophun, ID Ophun. I did Ophun, okay. And it talked about death coming to humanity. Um, but a lot of times when we see that it could be a de uh, the, 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 you know, death of a human energy, you know, and a rebirth that's going to take place, right? Or it could be physical death. So with saying that, when they did that world will do, that showed us what was getting ready to go down. So when we speak of them relaunching and, 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 and putting out these particles, and I'll share this with everybody in a minute, putting out these particles... You know, people are getting afraid because they think some of it means to wipe out humanity, okay? Um, now, I'll share this with you all. It says the Higgs Boston has a mass of 125 billion electron volts, meaning it is 130 times more massive than a proton, according to CERN. It is also charged with zero spin, okay? A quantum mechanical equivalent to angular momentum the higgs boson is the only elementary particle with no spin okay now we do know the last time it was done there was a lot of disagreeable energy brought into the earth that's when we begin to see more walkthroughs that's when we begin to see more people dealing with demons and disagreeable energies and you know people some people going crazy I'm going to tell y'all what I see, but before, let me just finish this for y'all. A Boston is a force carrier particle that comes into play when particles interact with each other. With a Boston exchange during this interaction, for example, when two electrons interact, they exchange a proton, okay? The force carrying particle of electromagnetic fields. So, let's put it this way. Y'all remember the movie Stargate, where they showed this Stargate? You understand? And then people, they was able to walk through and go into another dimension. Sort of put that in your mind. That's how it, it looks, okay? So, now, what do I see? People hitting me in box, and I'm not even exaggerating. People are, some people are afraid. What do I see? How is it going to affect the humanity? I don't see physical death. But I do see, and y'all can say what y'all want to say. Some of you all who have been injected, and you know what I'm talking about will be affected in a way, okay? Affected in a way that you've never been affected before. You remember the, uh, uh, the zombie apocalypse? I see that those people, okay, are going to experience some type of energy in their body, exchange some type of ex energy exchange in their body that's going to cause them to be in another whole dimension, but it's going to be a disagreeable dimension. So when you talk about the zombie apocalypse and how people are going to be, I see this is going to have an effect on humanity, okay? I'm also saying for the people who are spiritual and indigenous to this land, make sure, okay, that on this day, on July 5th, that you all pay attention to the energy. Do not get caught up in the energy of it, but you need to be protected, 
Anything that's going to protect you, wear it, take it. You need to be protected from this energy, okay? I do see that more than anything, if they do that, they're going to also open another portal for these more disagreeable beings to come in. But I'm going to tell you, just not disagreeable beings. There's some more beings that's going to be coming here that are not disagreeable. They're going to be agreeable beings. Because they're going to assist in helping humanity go through the spiritual, uh, spiritual physical transformation. Also, too, I also see that other beings from other planetary systems are going to be coming through here, too. Okay? So, get ready. Get ready. But there's nothing for you to fear but pay attention to. Okay? I'm going to tell you all, if you don't have to go out, don't go out. The effects, if you're out at that time when they're doing that, the effects are going to be mainly out in, in, in society, okay? So, try to stay home if you can. Try to keep out the energy. All I'm going to say is, it, it's going to be crazy. Uh, what I see spiritually is going to be crazy because you have some people that's really going to be like zombies. And these are going to be people who were injected with certain things. Hmm, interesting. Um, they say, for the ones who think that they're supposed to, you know, upgrade your DNA, I hear some people talking about fasting. That's a good idea. You can fast for a day if you want, a day or two. But you still have to be protected from that energy. From, you know, because these are subatomic particles. They, they, and, you know, they're very, very, very small. And when they open up, you open up a whole other world. Like, a, like I said, a portal. Think of Stargate. That's what's taking place and. We don't know what the hell is coming through, but I can only tell you what I see. And I see agreeable beings and disagreeable beings. I see beings from other planetary systems coming in. So pay attention. Pay attention. But don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Try to stay out of their way, though. Like, don't go out if you don't have to. That's my take on it. Um, you know, people, people have different things that they're doing. Like I said, fasting and... You know, doing what they have to do. My thing is just make sure that... See, see another thing, y'all. That's why we had to feed nature a couple of weeks ago. Right? We were supposed to feed nature, feed the earth. Remember? We had to supposed to feed the earth. But everything, you know, is telling y'all what's going on. Including the world Aoife Odu that came out. You know, so... With that Odu is saying that we must be mindful of the fact that there will be some death. Okay? Some people will be going on to the next dimension, transforming at a faster rate. I do see this. I do see that time, you think time is speed up now, it's going to be even more. Even more. Okay? <laughs> it's going to be Thursday tomorrow, and then it's going to be Thursday again the next day. I'm telling y'all, though, I do see it's going to affect time. That's what I see spiritually. It's going to affect time. Um... What else do I see? You also will experience more uh, awakening signs. You will be more open. Um, like if you can read like I read, then you can, you'll be able to read 10 times more. Okay? The energy is going to sort of put you in a place of like, you know, they talk about one of them being the God particle. is going to put you in that energy of that, you know, that, how can I put this, y'all? It's going to just, you're going to have that energy. Because it's going to, it is going to slowly but surely work on humanity. Uh, but I do see with them doing it, it's also going to bring in some more disagreeable beings. So we're going to see some chaos. But we're also going to see some uh, transitioning in a good way. Not dying right now. Some people will. But not now just going through, you know, getting, shedding the old and coming in with the new, okay? So shutting the old human and coming in with the new. Some of the things I've seen, it said that the, the, you, the mind was going to be changed and stay away from family because it would be totally different people. I don't see all that like that, okay? If they are, that's because they're getting away from the toxicity of some of the other human beings, okay? So that's pretty much what I have to say with the CERN. I mean, you know, tap into your spirit and, 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 and see what you feel. Go with what you're feeling inside, okay? 
But do not let it scare you to death, okay? Do not be scared. All right, family, that's my take on it. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, you know, you can put them at the below of the um, video. If you have any questions, okay? Y'all have a good night. Blessings.